the most exciting time for me was clear that 52 point game against the Heat. <laughs> well, Thank what you. do you if you if you ever recall that game, you know, what was your favorite memories of that game? But what I do remember personally was that was the hottest night of my life. <laughs> like that was absolutely the, if I it, CP, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you because I came out with seven minutes to go. If I stay in that game and I play the whole time, I think I would have got 65 easy. Easy, like not even yeah. forcing that. Because yeah. I had 42 straight points without a miss. Like from the end of the first quarter to the third quarter, I didn't miss one shot every time down court. It was like a video game. So if I don't come out that game, I think I get 65 easy. I, I agree with you, man. And it, it even confused me that Isaiah even took you out of the game. Well, I know why he took me out. Mm -hmm. Like he took me out because if you go back, I think the broad happened uh, with Denver earlier that season, right? Mm -hmm. Or either earlier that season or the end of the season before I forgot. It. But Isaiah just had a respect for the game as far as when they take out their best player, we're taking out you. So I came out when Wade came out. If you go back and look at it, when they took Wade out, he was like, okay, it's time for you to come out. He's always big on respecting the game and, and you know, not getting to the personal part of it as far as just you know, the respect of it. When they take out their best player and say they're done, you got to come out to it. If you go back and look, I started 0 for 4. So I missed my first four shots. And to have the mental resolve to be like, instead of being like, hey, it's not your night, be like, nah, you know, you just need one to go. And everybody will always see the points, but that can't happen without, you know, my coach at the time, Isaiah Thomas drawing up plays. It can't happen without Stefan giving me and Nate and those guys giving me the ball in perfect position. It can't happen without Q Rich passing it out, you know, for threes or Channing Fry setting great screens or David Lee, you know, screening. So when a person scores like that, it's never just that person. There's so many other things that factor into it. There's so many other people that factor into it. Of course, the person who scores the points gets the credit, but it's it can't happen without your teammates and your coaches. And it's so cliche, but it, it's real. Like I've scored 54 different times and not one time did I do it by myself. You know what I mean? It's always been the coaches, the teammates setting the screens and giving me the ball, helping me. I got the easy part, just making the shot. Well, the screens, he's frustrated. Crawford puts up the three. Bang! Crawford again from downtown. If it's D this time. Crawford, that's a two. Knocks it down. Crawford. Nick's putting it in Crawford's hands. Crawford to shake and bake move. Up and in. He does it again. 16 in a row. By six after one, they give up 33 points. Crawford inside. He's got 50. 50 points for and Checking his phone. <laughs> Crawford puts it in. 52. And here comes the standing ovation as Crawford receiving the congratulations from his teammates.